This is a gorgeous 2014 New York City city bike. This is one of the most beautifully crafted modes of transportation I personally have ever seen. It's got a three-speed shifter. It's quite easy on the wrist to shift gears in case you have arthritis. And for just $9 a day, this bike, it features the works. Responsive brakes, reflectors, and self-powered lights. Take that, Con Edison. Its origin began all the way back in May 2013, where it officially became open to the public with 330 stations and 6,000 bikes. And for someone who doesn't have a dollar to his name, when I sit on this foam padded, rain resistant, comfy saddle, I forget that I'm even on a bike. Feels like I'm sitting on a freshly cooked baked potato in a leather cushioned Escalade, and feels just as safe as riding in one. Now for those who don't know me, which is 99% of the population, I'm a stand-up comedian based out of New York City. And I perform at a lot of bar shows, inconsistent club spots, and black rooms where it seems like the audience is the one with the mic. Today my guest is a really good friend of mine and hilarious comic from Canada of all places, Nathan McIntosh. Nathan has performed at the Montreal Comedy Festival and on Gotham's Axis TV. What can I say? It makes me laugh. Hello? Nathan McIntosh. God, are we, are, is this Vessi? Yeah, but look, I gotta talk fast because I don't want to run out of minutes. Want to grab some water? Whatever, man. Are you, are you picking me up? Of course, I got transportation covered. All right, whatever, man. I'll see you. All right, smile, man. It's gonna be great. Calm down. Hi, I'm Joseph Vessi, and this is Broke Comedians in Transportation Getting Water. What's up, man? City bikes, man? Yeah, what do you think? This is this is picking somebody up? But you're not you're not impressed with this? Look at these city bikes. These are a work of art. Feel the comfort. I mean it's got it's a, a crack seat. in it, but whatever. Big it's crack like, in that seat. I know, but you grew up poor. This reminds you of home. Hilarious. This is, I got this for you. You get from A to B with these things. A little bumpy. Sure. But you get to where you're going. That's your comedy. Alright, All right, let's just get on the bikes. Alright, let's do it. Picking up is like I have a car, you're gonna sit in it. There's going to be air conditioning, maybe. This is some dangerous shit. This is not dangerous. Yes, it safe. is. This is safe. If you get hit on one of these bikes, you're completely dead. I'm not weird with food. I just don't like diners or places. You don't like diners? I don't like diners. Diners are, like, more American than you. If a diner has a B rating, I don't want to go in there. OK, what about an A? I don't trust it. Then that's, you, you don't even make any sense now. Germs don't bug me. You know what I mean? What do you mean germs don't bug you? I don't think when they're real. When you get real. sick, you go, oh, well, this is nice. We got Jim Carrey. He's not Canadian. Yes, he is. We got Dan Aykroyd. We got Mike Myers. Just because just you were born in Canada. We got Martin Short. What, just because you're born in Canada doesn't make you Canadian? Yeah. Were you just about to say that? <laughs> you wear clothes that DMX would have threw away in 2001. I didn't have a dad. I should dress like you. Who, who like, influences your act? Who do you steal from the most? <laughs> Sam Kinison and Chris Rock. Who are you? Uh, who are you influenced by? Not Kevin Hart. If you do comedy, yeah, I just kind of expect, like, say with me, like punchlines. <laughs> I get Boom! I, Everybody, he hates him. That's what? Kevin right there. That's Kevin. That and, uh, is probably and, uh, Kevin. And, uh, He's better than an open mic comedian. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, open mic comedians don't have pyrotechnics. Best water in town. Lawyer's office I go to. Lawyer's office? Yeah, I go in here all the time. It's a little presidential. We're going in here. Yeah. For water. Why would we bring these up? Just bring them up. It's just a better, better spot. Ah, ah. I've been working out. Hello. How's it going? Do you have an appointment? Uh, yeah. He, he knows I'm coming here to see him. Okay. All right. Best water in town. Right here. This is lawyer water. This is amazing. You can just come in here and get water? It's the most sterile filtered water around. Tell me that's not the best water you taste. Water? I don't that's know if it's good. like... Mm. Do they always have these little cups? It's like little dentist cups. Like, what was your, like, your first bit? Do you remember that? Okay, so in my hometown at the time, there was these kids uh, going around beating up people and taking them, they were like making them go to their bank machine and take out their money, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I just, the joke was that like, if they don't take them to your bank, that you're gonna be charged a dollar twenty-five to take your money out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I was like, not only are these kids stealing from you, the machine is asking for a cut. I actually think my first bit 
was a molestation joke. I Perfect. opened with that. When my first, first joke was a molestation but joke? There's there's a thing called improvement. Why was my first joke? Oh, rape, AIDS, kids. I, I didn't rape say, a kid with AIDS. It wasn't, it wasn't that Take bad. a kid with AIDS and rape well, him with more AIDS. Well, maybe you the joke before you judge it. So I tell my first bit and I was like, I said, this is my first time doing this, mm -hmm. right? Like in stand up. Yeah. And I said, oh, I said that to my, you know, nine year old niece in a closet last week. It was like a weird, like dark what? joke. It actually kind of got a laugh. I don't know what if I'm was doing the, it justice. What was though. the joke? I guess that I basically molested my niece. But what was the joke that you said that then you said that to? Uh, maybe I didn't make it make sense. Hold on. So wait, I say this is your kinda, first. This is that hard. was your first joke? That was my first line. That's fucking first awful. <laughs> Did you hear yourself say it? It's not a joke. There's nothing there. You said, I, you know, that's the first thing I ever I said, said, and I, I raped no. my niece. <laughs> no, I said, wait, hold on. I said, it's my first time doing this. Yeah. Right, and then I said, oh, I said that to my niece oh, in the no. closet. So you missed that's the little the... line. See, it's those little words. I'm a little Seinfeld there. If you miss a word, it doesn't work. And it was in front of like an open mic crowd, so they laughed. They're sick people. They're monsters, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. It's a bunch of rapists. <laughs> now, because I'm like a big Nicki Minaj fan, and I constantly have thoughts about getting right. her pregnant. Like, you want to have a baby. I don't know if I want Nikki the baby, it's just more like the idea. Just get her pregnant and bail. <laughs> well, not bail, she but makes the idea. You, she it's turns you idea. on so much, you want to be a deadbeat dead. What do you think the difference is, the main difference between like a, like a black and white comedy show? If black people don't like you, they just, there's no, they just don't like you. You know what I mean? There's no like polite smile or laugh, it's just like a death. How do you prepare for like a showcase show versus just a regular club show? So you just get like a joke, <coughs> hey man. You get like a, Jesus Christ. You, you pick like an opening joke, like yeah. something that gets the crowd, fuck mm -hmm. man, can you please? Like a joke that like gets the crowd like, in. what the hell was that? He just put those cups there. I didn't even notice. I was trying to answer your question. Don't what do we focus have? with the fucking human walrus. That guy delivered these cups. It's crazy. Wait a fucking minute. Where are these, these cups, cups from? That's what I'm saying. This could be the same cups. This guy's out of his. I don't even remember the fucking question I was answering. Do you think there's something in this water? Could Joe, type of Joe, service. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, you mean because, because every. Hey. Do you guys have an appointment? I, I, um, I, I mean, know who the... you are. You're that guy going around to all the offices drinking all the water, right? Yes, I. Well, hey, yeah. Do me a favor. Get the fuck out. Okay, Joe, we'll just go, we'll just go. Get the fuck out! All right, we'll just go, Joe. Should I leave the water? Get the fuck out! Okay. Get the fucking water down, right, man. Right. Just put the goddamn water down. Waste it's not even I didn't want to waste this water. I... That lawyer was a little unprofessional. Yeah, I guess. If professional means you just let two people that you don't know randomly sit in your office and drink water, I'd say he's pretty fucking professional to kick us out, man. Well, I come here all the time. Why would a guy freak at you if you're here all the time? Can I at least ride you home? We, we Whatever, man. Pineapple Street. Oh no, it's pineapple. Why does it say pineapple? Just shut up, man. Sorry. I'm just trying to make conversation. She the like... fucking guy threw up in the cups, man. <laughs> threw up in the cups. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of funny, though. Jesus. You were Mr. Like anti. You know, like you were like, I love germs. I can take any type of germ, and then like it happens. Well, yeah, you know. Thanks, man. You still gonna do my show next week? I'll yeah, I'll come to your show, man. I'll give you a few extra minutes. Appreciate it's a, it, man. It's a great show. Usually like four to six people. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. I can't come upstairs? Why? Why? Just for a little while. For what? I don't know. Watch Netflix. Sinbad just put out a new special. You a weirdo, man? No, I just wanted to come hang out. Or we could watch a, a weird documentary or something. Dude, this has been a weird documentary, okay? That's why. Right. I'll see, write that's it down. That's why you are. I'll that's write it down. I would write it down. Record it. Goodbye, Joe. Is there any way? Listen, I don't actually have a Netflix account. Is there any way I can get your password? My password's go to hell, Joe. Is that all caps? Your are you password? crazy, Joe? Do you want to fight me on my street? I hope you get overcharged on both these city bikes. I hope you can't even return them. All right, later, man. Later. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. Fucking Nathan can't appreciate shit. Dock station, here we come. All right. <laughs>